Hello everybody, so I have another vacuum. Obviously if you immediately can tell you already know what it is, but um might as well introduce it first. So this is my Hoover Wind Tunnel bagless vacuum cleaner. Um now you guys know I have a tan one of these, it's the anniversary edition. But I really wanted like one of these um models the wind tunnel bagless here the flat floor head the anniversary is a little bit bigger hoover logo all that sticker that wind tunnel logo and everything else so yeah how i got it is i was over at my aunt's house and we had to bring a big bed over there and we were moving stuff out of her garage so she had a lot of stuff in there so I'm looking around and I see a vacuum box, but she has a Hoover Tempo. So that box was still there. And I look up and there's a handle sticking out of the box. I already knew what it was. I asked if I can have it. She said, yeah, go ahead, take it. And I pull out this and it's fine. Now I was expecting before I pull it out of the box, it was going to be in the absolute worst condition ever. It wasn't that bad at all. Um, yeah, it was dirty, dusty, but I was just expecting it to be beat up. I don't know why, but yeah, it's just, yeah, there might be some wear and tear on the side of the bumpers where it went against the wall for edge clean, but it wasn't that bad. Yeah, there was dirt in the bin. Yeah, the filter was dirty, but it wasn't that bad at all. So I cleaned it up, and now it looks like brand new. It even has this plastic still on the wind tunnel bagless logo, which is awesome. But anyways, yeah, I'll go through I just used it on the carpet to make sure it was okay, and it does a good job. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, you got your height adjustment right here. Patented wind tunnel. So you have hardwood far away to high carpet. Like the highest carpet, so you have hardwood floor, and then all the way up. I'm going to keep it right there. Almost in the middle, I guess. Or it is. I don't know. Or did I keep it there? I think I kept it there. Um, yeah, the, um, what was, when I pulled out, the hose was like on a wand, so it was like sticking out the hose and everything. So that's why it's kind of distorted a little bit, but it'll, it'll be fine. It still works just fine. And then underneath, you got the brush roll. Right here, which I thought was going to be bad, but it was gunked up with dirt and hair and stuff. But I cleaned it up. I just put a new belt in it a little bit ago. So, yeah, it runs like new. It does a very good job. These are very stiff bristles. Ugh. I see you got your headlight down there. And here's your bagless twin chamber system. Right here at the bin. Yeah, dirt goes there. Filters there. Yeah, it's dust because I just got done using it to make sure everything was okay. So, yeah, this wasn't that bad at all. And then the filter down there wasn't that bad. Inside was dusty, but that's expected. And then the side HEPA filter right here wasn't that bad either. So, I don't know how long she had it. I don't know how long she used it. I don't know if she used it that much or what. But I know she has a bag temple. She told me she'd rather stick with the bag now. So that's why she probably threw this in the garage. I think she told me it was going to go in the trash. But not in the trash now. It's saved. <laughs> it's my vacuum now. So you have the tools. Obviously you get the stretch hose. And then you got your wand. Another wand with a very long crevice tool. Looks like she used a crevice tool a lot. But oh well. It's okay. Um, and then the tools up here, she looked like she never, ever used these. Maybe she did, maybe only once, but this is the dusting brush. Looks like new. I tried it, though. And then the upholstery tool, I tried too, but it looks like new. And then your turbo brush, which I tried, but it looks new. It looks like she never used these at all when she had it. Um... So I'm guessing it's not an older model. Can't be because the motor sounds different and this part isn't clear. My grandma and grandpa, they have one that's 
when they first came out or something. This is clear, but this is just plastic, gray or black plastic. You can't see through it, but it's okay. We got a nice long cord. The cord isn't chewed up at all, which is amazing. Uh, you got your carry handle right here. All it just does is creak, but that's it. Um, yeah, like that. <laughs> the hose down here for the floor is all good. Um, and then you got your oh, on-off switch right here. So, yeah. It doesn't have that wind tunnel motor when they first came out. It's not that loud, really, at all. So, it sounds like my anniversary wind tunnel motor, which I was shocked when I first turned it on. I'm like, wow, it's an anniversary one. Anyways, I have a power bar here. <laughs> I'm not walking over to the outlet because I want to show you the long cord that it has. It has a really nice long cord on it, which I like. So, yeah, enough of me talking. Let me turn on and demonstrate it for you guys. And that was a foot release, so here we go. So as you see, it works. <clears throat> it works just fine. Um, I just vacuumed too, and it's already picking up more crap off the carpet, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, as you see, it works just fine. It works good. It doesn't have the dirt finder. I forgot to mention that, but that's okay. I don't care. Just happy to have one. So yeah, if you guys liked this video, my Hoover wind tunnel bagless vacuum, please like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for reviews for me, and have a great day, everybody. Bye.